Hi guys, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a My Mum Picks My Winter Makeup Challenge type thing. Um, so we did an autumn one, like my mum picked my autumn makeup and you, get, you guys seem to really like it. So I thought I'd do a winter one and then I'd do a spring and a summer one when it's spring and summer. Um, so she picked some lovely colours. Um, we just did that off camera. It's a bit easier. Maybe for spring and summer we'll do it on camera. Um, so yeah, she picked some really nice colours. We're going to get into that. Um, so I'm going to do my eyes first. Um, so we're just going to prime them using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Light Ivory. It's really nice. I bought it the other day and then I did a video yesterday which will be up either before or after so I'm not sure which one I'll post first. Um, and I, I tried it on camera the first time and I really liked it. And I wore it throughout the day yesterday and I really liked it. It's nice and like hydrating. Because I have really dry under eyes so. I'm just taking that on my Chi Chi sponge, I just dampened it and then squeezed it out in the towel. You get these from Farmers, they are $8.99 and they come in three or four different shapes and colours. I like the pink one. So. Um, to set it we're just going to be using the e.l.f. setting powder, prime and stay finishing powder in translucent fair light. It just looks like that. I'm going to take a wee powder brush, it's also an e.l.f brush and just set the lid okay so mum wanted like wintry colours like a cool colour but something bright but not too bright if you know it's winter people are low so bright and cheerful so mum picked the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're going to be going in with um, if I can hold it up, it's a really big palette to show and it's a bit bulky for me to hold up. So I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to go in with like these colours. Like the ones around Fantasy, Hunts, Firework, all those colours. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to, just wiping my brush, I forgot to clean them. Um, my Revlon Crease Shadow Brush looks like this, the one I always use. And we're going to pick up pumps and we're going to work that into the crease take off the excess and start on the outer crease and outer lid kind of start patting and then circular motions at the same time and then slowly work that inwards like that just going to pick up a little bit more it's really hot in here. It's only like 14 degrees today, but it's stinking hot. The circular motions. Just like that. If you get that whole liney situation, don't worry. Blend that. I don't really know why I get it. It's really annoying. I don't always get it, it's just that's annoying. I'm just going to take my Mecca fluffy blending brush and just blend that in. Right, I'm just going to go do the other eye. Okay, looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take a bit of, if I can find the name, Jax. What was it? Just a little bit. Turn off the excess, and that's going to go on the outer. Um, corner of my lid there. You can make this like as deep or light as you want. And you do what you want to do. Lightly pat it on. I'm kind of patting and blending at the same time if that makes sense. Blend it through the crease a little bit. Um, now I'm going to take one of the shimmery ones, I'm not sure which one. I might take Sissy. Um, and I'm just going to actually use my finger. I'm just going to take a bit of on my finger. And kind of pat that on. 
a warm up on it. Do the other eye. There's a tiny bit of fallout, but nothing too bad. I kind of like the look of it like up there above my crease. But if you just want it on the lid, you can totally just take it on the lid. Now, I think I'm going to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. So I'm just going to take Jack's again and just stamp that around there in the outer corner on the lid. And then a bit above the crease like that. Now I'm just going to take my fluffy brush again, my big one, and just lightly blend that. I really like that. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. We may come back to it and add a little bit, but for now, I'm really liking it. Foundation Mum chose the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory, that one. It's actually really nice. I love this foundation. The only thing that I don't like is it stinks. You kind of get used to it. Like the first time I used it, um, I had to use another foundation with it because I really could not stand the smell. Um, don't get it in your hair like I just did. And it's a really funny like app applicator. It's like plastic. I don't know what that's about. Mm. Alright. Blends in. I was going to take this away with me when I got it in England this year. But because it's a glass case I don't want it to smash. So I'm probably going to bring something in like a plastic case or in a tube. So I'm not sure what I'm going to take. I'm not going to take a lot because like I've said before, I'm going to do a lot of makeup shopping while I'm over there. Um, so I'll just bring like the bare essentials. Like the bare, bare essentials. Takes the whole makeup case probably. Okay, that will do. We're not going for a full, full coverage today. Um, I like medium coverage, but I've still got to put concealer on. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the same NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in Light Ivory that we used to prime the eye. I love the applicator on this. It doesn't smell so that's good. It's so nice and cooling as well. I love concealers that are nice and cooling. Because I'm really sensitive under eyes so it's quite nice. Quite nice, quite nice. Oh my eye is killing me today. really get a lot in here which is a bit annoying. That's okay. It was like six bucks. I got it on sale. I'm just going to blend that in with my sponge. I'm just going to take that down a little bit on the cheeks, the top of the cheeks, just where I'm a bit red. It is quite hot in here so it's probably why? And I can't have any fans or windows or doors open because it'd just be too noisy. Now we're just going to set it using the e.l.f. Um, setting powder. I'm just going to take a little bit under my eyes first. Really set those under eyes. You don't want to crease. And I do around my nose because that's where it becomes a problem. Now I'm going to take my favourite brush. It's a bit dense. I would like it a little bit fluffier but it's still pretty good. It's not the Revlon one. It just says Revlon. Looks like that. It reminds me of the old um, shaving brushes that they used to use in the olden days. Oh it's so nice. This baby's coming away with me. Damn that all over my face. You want to set the face. Okay. Pretty. Bronzer. Oh, Mummy chose the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit in light medium. Also comes in medium tan or medium dark, like that. But I am light medium. And I'm going to use the bottom two K 
colours. I'm just going to pick up my Artiste blush brush, but I use it for here, I'm sorry. But I use it for contouring and all that. Load it up, then tap off the product and go to town. Mum didn't give me any specifications on how tan I'm supposed to look, but I'm normally super pale in the winter, like Casper, the friendly ghost, pale. pale. Um, so we might just warm up this pretty face. I'm just going to use my that brush again just to blend in the bronzer on my forehead. And take the excess and just blend a little bit on my chin to get rid of that little problem there. It's going to even up a little bit. Just go for a really intense bronze today and that's okay if you have found that you've gone too overboard with your bronzer what you can do is get your translucent powder and just um, put that with a brush and just lightly dab it on where you've um, put the bronzer and it should just take that take it away a little bit so it's not too intense and heavy and like you know poo strike now I'm just going to set my face a little bit just to lock in all the powders. I'm just using a little bit of water. Oh, it feels so freaking good. Especially because I'm really hot. Now I'm going to pick up my highlighter. Mum chose the Revolution Vivid Peach Lights Baked Highlighter. That's that one. So pretty. I use it greatly in all my videos. So I do apologise if you're sick of saying it, but it's such a beaut. My $2 shop highlighting brush. On my nose. On my chin. Keep the bow. Okay. Should do. Now we're going to do... I'm going to get that hair away from me. We're going to do the under eyes. I'm just going to take like um, humps on a eyeliner brush like this. I'm just going to clean mine a little bit. Pick it up, take off the excess and... I'm oh, sorry. If I duck down, I do apologise. I'm still getting used to like the idea of having a camera. Like the fact that I've got a look in the camera and make sure that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to grab my smudge brush or a pencil brush and lightly blend it out. Okay. Looking good. I'm actually gonna I'll do my mascara first. I have my Revlon Super Length mascara, the one with the green lid. I can open it. I struggle to open mascaras. And I'm just gonna paint my lashes. Start at the roots and work your way up. Okay, that is done. Mascara's on. I didn't feel like too much mascara today. I got some on my eye and it irritated my eye. Okay, but I'll I'm just gonna brush them quickly. Alright, I mean. 
flat them the other day and I went overboard so that's why I have no brows. Um, I have the Revlon Brow Fantasy and Dark Blonde. Is that, that I love this one. It's so good. God, earrings that drive me out the wall today. Do you have days like your earrings just really annoy you so you take them all out? Brow looks really good for today. Every day my brow turns out different. It's really annoying because sometimes I have like really good brows and I want to do it the next day and it just comes out different. I don't know. I'm not done with that. We'll just come back to it. Yeah, they aren't looking too bad. Too much. Um, I just set them with a bit of brow gel. You get a bit of brow gel on the end of the pencil on the other side. So just set them. I find if you use too much, they go a bit crusty. Um, but if you just use a little bit, then that's fine. And they're fine. I know Maybelline do a really good brow gel. And it lasts forever. Forever and ever. I don't know the rest of that song. Okay. The other matter. Right, on to lips. Mum chose the Revlon Matte Balm Stick. I call it my chubby stick. Good stick, stick. Not that chubby stick. Um, in... Gone it. In 250 standabout... Remarkable, I think. I don't have any glasses on. Looks like this. It's such a nice colour. I don't have any, um, I do have a lip liner. Don't I line my lips? <coughs> Ugh. Uh, I'll line my lips. Hang on, I'm just going to get a lip liner. Alright, so I just clear it, grabbed a lip liner just because, um, it's not, it's quite flat, the top, if that makes sense. Like, it's not very easy to get. Don't do that. Easy to get into the corners. So I've just got my Revlon. I can taste that now. Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Plum. Just gonna line them. Can you imagine if you forgot that you didn't have lipstick on? You just said lip liner, and you went out looking like this. I just laugh. But yeah, not it's a new look. Alright, uh, fill them in. That will do. I'm just going to set it again with a little bit of water. Alright, so that is it for today. I hope you guys like this look. I love it. Um, Mum did a really, really good job picking out my makeup. She knows what I love anyway. We go makeup shopping together. Um, so yeah, she knows, she knows me. Alright, so that is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoy and stay tuned and see what comes for next time. Bye, guys.